Hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve and in today's episode we take an in-depth look at the hue versus luminance curve. Hue versus luminance, if you've been following along you're probably getting the gist of things at this stage by using that rule of thumb the first part of the name is what you're selecting, the second is how you're adjusting it. So therefore, in hue versus luminance, what that is doing is we're selecting a specific hue and we're going to change the luminance value, aka select a color, change how bright it is. Uh, so we're getting really into this now, um, but in case people haven't been following along, we're going to do it full, make sure we're not missing out in this standalone. So again, we can add points at any point along the curve here. And if you don't know how to get hue versus luminance, you can either go into the drop down and select it in your list of curves, or you can click through the different curves here and you can select it. And um, we'll reset that. Let's just go Alt S. We'll make sure we're on a new node. Hue versus luminance is now selected. You can select any point along the curve. And with this, basically left and right is what hue. So we have a shade of blue selected here and up and down now becomes its luminance value, so brighter and darker. As always, there's a level of imprecision to that. We're looking to be precise. So for example, making sure our qualifier tool is selected, we can select any part of the image and that'll show us where it is on the graph. So what we're gonna do is select this shade here of the house or the caravan uh, in the background. And you can see we have three points. The middle point is the actual hue that we selected. The two outer are just placeholders to make sure the rest of the image doesn't get affected. And with that middle point selected, we can decrease or increase the luminance of that. And again, you can see it on the image here. You can see us increase and decrease the luminance. And if we switch over to our waveform, you might be able to see it wiggle around in there. Yeah, so just if you keep your eye on this section of our waveform, you will see there's a little bit of something hopping around in there, up and down, brighter, darker. So for the sake of tutorial, we will leave it as darker. So with that node selected, control D, on and off. You can see we've taken that specific color, that hue, and we've adjusted its luminance i.e. it's brightness, we've made it darker. So it's that simple. Um, you can start to see how they're all actually quite similar. It's just different uh, selections and different uh, adjustments that we're able to make depending on which curve you're on. So we'll leave it at that. As always, go out, shoot a bit of footage and test these out, get to know them. I keep saying that these tools are really powerful and when you realize what they do, you'll think back to a million times you could have used them in the past and you're going to think forward to a million times that you're going to end up using them in the future because they're really, really quick, easy way of making adjustments and corrections. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Did I miss something that should have been covered in this tutorial? Let me know in the comment section below so I know to cover it in a future video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. My name is Lee Dalton, this is DaVinci Resolve A to Z. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.